vs Film. Hi, I'm Graham. Welcome back to Man vs Film. And this is another episode of my What I Watched. So recently I watched Archer Season 7. And this season they transformed the full dynamic again by turning them into private investigators underneath Figgis as this is the Figgis agency because he's the only character willing to go through all the paperwork and get fully registered as a private eye. But pretty soon things get back to normal as Archer gets involved in all kinds of shenanigans, ends up naked in quite a few episodes and with various women while drinking his way through the full season. I love Archer, I think it's one of the best things on TV. I love the character, I love all the characters within this, they're all extremely individual and they all work well together. There is some fantastic episodes in this season. I particularly like the one with the, when they're at a high society function and people break in dressed as clowns to hold them all at ransom. That was a, a two-parter that I thought was fantastic, but there's other episodes within this as well. I think one of my favourite characters in it is Krieger, a man who doesn't get a lot of time, but every time he's on it, steals whatever scene he's in. Great show, loved it. Can't wait for the next season. I also watched the Bone trilogy. Jason Bone's just out in cinemas. I haven't had a chance to watch it as yet, but I will get to it soon. And this is one of the best modern trilogies. The Bone Identity is a, a great movie, and it was one that I loved when it first came out. Uh, it's got a great mystery at its heart. It's got a great story between Matt Damon and Franca Potente. It's got a, a wonderful mystery where you don't really know what's going on itself. And I really like the storyline. And for me, it still holds up. It's still exciting. I like the fact that Damien is slight and small in the movie and not a hulking uh, action hero like he gets later on. It's kind of nice to see an average person. But that works in with the storyline because all these colours are average looking people with exceptional skills. The Bone Supremacy is a movie that I feel kind of gets lost in the middle. It introduces various things to the storyline. The overarching fact, the fact they were killing people out with their, their regular missions as well. They were being manipulated to do these things and I feel it kind of gets lost in the trilogy. There's not a scene in it that I think is really fantastic other than the opening chase where a uh, Patente's uh, character gets killed off. And I kind of, I made my way through it, I kind of enjoyed it, but it wasn't the best of the series. And then we had Ultimatum, which I think is absolutely fantastic and has some of the best action set pieces in any movie I've seen recently. From the train station with Paddy Constantine's character as Bourne tries to lead him through while dealing with all the spies that are chasing after them to the African scene where they're, they're on the motorbikes that leads into a, a rooftop chase that's just jaw-dropping and fantastic and then the one where Bourne is after the CIA and he lures them all out of the building so he can get back in. It's a great finale and it's just full of action that's jaw-dropping and amazing and I love the final shot of the bone ultimatum where he's in the water and it's a, a great mirror to the bone identity when it starts when he's floating in the water and I feel like as a trilogy it ties off the story in a nice neat bow it's complete which worries me about Jason Bourne can you really add on to something that's pretty perfect without detracting from it I don't think you can I feel like the trilogy's great and I'm as much as I'm looking forward to Jason Bourne I'm kind of worried in the same time as well how are they going to expand on this story that feels as if it's done I guess you'll find out soon enough. So that's what I've been watching. Let me know in the box below what you've been watching and I will see you next time on Man Vs Film. So thanks for watching that video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you notice on screen, there is two more videos that you can click and watch at your leisure. There is also a large subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. If you would like to subscribe to my channel, I will forever be in your debt. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time on Man Vs Film.